So tell me a little bit more about the black hole and the image of it. Okay, so science has been researching black holes for many years now. They believe that they might exist and uh, quite a few scientists have been saying they do exist and uh, even today they're saying even more strongly they do exist which of course my philosophy I would debate whether they actually know anything um, but they've been looking for, 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 for proof um, for a number of years and then just in, in May of this year, 2019, um, uh, the uh, um, group of uh, science uh, scientists, the EHT, um, uh, uh, monitored um, data from several different sensors, which you might call cameras, but they're not cameras as we, the general public, would understand them to be. They're looking at all, all sorts of information, at, at waves of light and rays and all, all sorts of other data. And what they did was they produced um, this image, uh, which uh, they believe to be uh, the first ever true, uh, true black hole. Um, which is uh, 55, 55 million light years um, away from us. Um, I like to make a joke about it and I say, it's not 55 million years, it's circa 55 million years. So it might be 55 million point not 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 one million years away. But it's just, it, it really is that we, we don't actually know anything. But that's not to put down the discovery because the discovery is very, very uh, significant and very important. But in reality, uh, we look at this and we say, even if this was based on light, which, which it isn't because the light travels and... Uh, and continues to travel, but if we look at that, it's a, it's 55 uh, million years for that one piece of light to to get to us here. So, how 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 real is that? And and uh, another area of my my research, not as a as a scientist, but my philosophical research is by the way as a philosopher I know I'm always wrong um, I think everybody is always wrong but if I'm not wrong to you today I'm wrong to somebody else tomorrow um, but my, my um, uh, in, interest at the moment is the recent um, latest discoveries of particle entanglement where we're finding that the particles can be um, partnered for want of a better a better word for where you have one particle becomes two particles um, but they're actually the same particle and when one moves in one direction the other one moves instantly in the other direction so they become what's called entangled so they're together in theory a particle an entangled particle one part could be here on earth in Arundel and then the other particle could be um, just on the outside of the, the black hole and when the one moves here the other one will move instantly regardless of the speed of light or anything else. Um, there are some scientists that have been suggesting I've read well it won't be instant it could actually take two or three days for the, uh, for the other particle to move but nobody uh, really knows but it is, it just shows how much in this world we don't know. Um, and where are, where are we, where are we heading? Um, and I've, I've actually produced some recently, uh, 
a very short sort of single page short story um, of um, particle entanglement and how it affects lives and scientists and uh, those sorts of matters where where a scientist dies um, here on earth um, and then travels through space towards the black hole and then she appears to wake up just literally a few seconds after she's died um, even though she's her body is in hospital and she's been declared dead from a serious stroke um, but she's suddenly awake um, and I think that 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 to me is potentially where my thinking is that there's another dimension that we don't actually we don't actually know anything also being suggested that the distance between not James Joyce's 1904 um, Leopold Bloom and the black hole 55 million years away could actually be the distance from a human arm and elbow down to the end of a human finger in reality um, so this whole space in our view could be 55 million years which is absolutely forever and ever and in, into in, into distance but in reality it might actually be nothing at all <laughs>